Let's go over question number 1389, create target array in the given order. The question says, given two arrays of integers, nums and index, so two arrays named nums and index, your task is to create target array under the following rules. So we have to follow three steps. So one, two, three, and four. Initially, target array is empty. So this is going to be our result. Um, it's going to be empty in the beginning. From left to right, read the current number and current index. Insert at index for a current number, I mean current index, the value uh, nums at index i, which is our current value. And this is current idx. Uh, repeat the previous step until there are no elements to read in nums at index. Return the target array. Okay, so what this is saying is uh, just uh, insert the current number at whatever the in current index is uh, so if you look at our example we have 0 1 2 3 and 4 and index array is 0 1 2 2 1 so at first we start with our first number um, let's just do result and the target array is gonna be empty at first so in the first loop uh, we have the number 0 and we want to put it at index 0 so we'll do the first one and second um, the number is 1 and we want to put it in at index 1 so it's gonna be 0 and 1 third the number is 2 index is 2 so it's 0 1 2 next number is 3 and index is 2 uh, so it's gonna be 0 1 3 and 2 this is index 2 right and the last one number is 4 and index is 1 so it's going to be 0 4 1 3 2 and notice that when we um, insert the number and uh, index and there's a number after um, we just push that into the next index like here uh, when we inserted 3 we pushed back 2 and here when we inserted 4, we push back 1, 3, and 3, 1, 3, and 2. And when we're done with our loop, we're going to return this result and we get our output over here. Now let's code our solution. So make it our function, which takes in two parameters, nums and index array, and they're both arrays. Um, we're going to make our result variable and set it go to an empty array and next we want to iterate through all the numbers in our array right and notice they have uh, same length and if you look at our constraints nums length is equal to index.length so we want to loop through all the items in the array so start index 0 nums.length or you could do index.length it doesn't matter and I'm just gonna make a variable let num is equal to nums at index i and let index is equal to index at index i so this num represents the current number and idx represents the current index and what we want to do now is we want to uh, push in the num at idx right before doing that let's just return our result so there is a method that we can use to um, push, basically kind of push in our uh, desired number at an index. So what we're going to do is result.splice. And this takes into three parameters. Um, if you look at over here, um, it, it actually kind of tells you. So first parameter is the start. Uh, it's going to be a number. And second one is delete count. And number third is the number that we want to push in. So let me just write that here. Splice takes in three parameters. So this is a start. Um, next one is the delete count. And uh, next one is the value. And instead of start, let's just write index. I think that's more um, intuitive. So we want to push it at index idx. And how many are we going to delete? We're going to delete zero because we just want to push in our um, values that are already there and we want to uh, push in one number we want to push in the current number which is num so let's check our results okay so we have our results um one for the last one which is correct uh zero one two three four for the second example 
zero one two three four okay and the first one is zero four one three two zero four one three two so there we go um, that's our solution okay now let's go over our code one more time so create target array takes in two parameters nums and index uh, which are both arrays of integers and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a result variable that's gonna be empty and we'll return that when we're done with our for loop we create a for loop so that we can iterate through our nums array and we want to iterate through all of them and well actually not just nums array but nums and index array so we can start an index here loop through all the items and just made a variable named num at idx which represents the current number and this is the current index and we just use the splice method and this is an array method and like i showed you guys have before so first argument is gonna be index next one is delete count and the last one is the value that we want to push in and index is our idx value that we want to push in is a number and we don't want to delete any um, numbers in our array right we would you just want to push them back uh, so after we're done with this loop we exit out and return our result let's look at example two so example two has nums equal to one two three four and zero and index is equal to zero one two three zero all right so the first loop um num is equal to one and index is equal to um zero so it's gotta be one second loop num is two index is one so it's going to be one two loop three number is three and index is two so one two three loop four number is four index is three one two three and four and our last loop is going to be number is zero and index is zero so since it's the first one we push in one and just push back the rest of the uh, numbers so here we delete nothing we didn't delete anything we just inserted zero over here and then pushed rest of the numbers back and that's that's the result that we have and if you check um that's what we get zero one two three four okay, zero one two three four